This is a short video about the new NHS app, why you should use it and how to download and register. I'm Dr Andy Foster, a GP from Parkside Medical Practice in Bulwell, Nottingham. The new official NHS app is available to download right now. I've been using it myself and it takes a lot of the hassle out of dealing with your GP surgery. It allows patients to quickly and easily book online appointments, order repeat prescriptions, check your symptoms with the online symptom checker to see what sort of help or appointment you might need and record and manage your decisions about organ donation. You can also view your medical record, but you do need to speak to the reception at the surgery in order to activate this function. It is really easy to download and sign up and you can be up and running within minutes with no need at all to contact the surgery to get it going. You don't need to know your NHS number or anything too tricky. Once you have the app, you will be ready for all the new ways to access healthcare, which will be available over the next few years through the app, such as video consultations and much more. When you use the app to order repeat prescriptions, book an appointment or check your symptoms before contacting us, it really helps the surgery and other patients as it frees up our phone lines and staff time for the other important work at the practice. And if other patients are all doing the same and using the app, then we are more likely to be available when you really need to speak to us. So please download, install, register with and start using the app. To do this, just go to your app store and search for the NHS app download the app, open it up and enter your information to register. You will be asked to select your GP surgery. You will then need to send a photograph of your driving license and passport, but there are, are alternatives if you don't have these. Just follow the instructions in the app. Next, you will be asked to take a short video of yourself saying four random numbers using the phone's selfie camera and the app. This is to make sure it really is you registering and not someone else doing so just after getting hold of your ID documents. You then wait a short time for your account to be activated and you're up and running. So, your next task is to go to the App Store, download the NHS app, and please help those family members and friends who are less good with the technology to download and use the app too. The more patients using the app, the better it will be for everyone. 